Yep, yep. So Looking forward to it. Game. Looking forward to getting back on the court uh, and hopefully going one and zero. Um, so what do you think? Uh, what was the biggest thing you took away from the, the scrimmage at two, or the uh, a lot of people saw the two lane exhibition, whatever it was. What was the biggest thing you took away from that game? Uh, from the two lane game, yeah. Um, you know, we've got a long way to go. Um, we've got some work to do, um, but you know, uh, I think after uh, this week, I think we've had a good week so far, and I think we're taking strides in the right direction. So you had the two lane, then you scrimmaged Texas. Mm -hmm. Is that how it went? Mm -hmm. We played a much better game against Texas. We didn't come out with a win, but uh, you know, we did some good, we did some things better. Uh, but obviously, we still gotta, you know, get in that lab and keep working at what we're uh, weak at. I think uh, Coach yesterday, uh, LaBear said that uh, Texas had a big front line. You guys mm -hmm. did a good job rebounding against mm -hmm. the big front line. Mm -hmm. that, that yeah, we won the rebound battle, which is a, a plus. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to rely on that. And obviously, when we get Evans back on the court, it's going to make things a little bit easier as far as that part of the game. So now that you've got a year under your belt, you know, comparing this upcoming first game to last year's first, you know, how are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, I kind of know what I'm in for. You know, I'll be more acclimated to the pace of the game. Uh, so that's a big plus for me. And, uh, you know, just go in there confident in what I'll be able to do. What is it like playing next to uh, Tremont? You know, how is he coming along? Oh, Tremont's awesome. Um, you know, he's he's got a really mature game. He's uh, all about getting other, he makes guys better, which uh, is a big plus for everybody. Uh, he, he's really, he's a really selfless guy. And, uh, you know, that spreads around to our team. Tell me about the uh, the trip to Mississippi. It was a one day trip, oh, like a camp. Yeah, it was different. Uh, I've never really done that before. You know, just all the guys going out to Mississippi. We stayed at um, a lodge, right? And just almost, almost basically Louisiana. Um, and you know, we just got to uh, learn some stuff about each other. You know, uh, I learned something about Coach Golden. Uh, he actually played in a professional orchestra. Something you know, something I wouldn't have known. Uh, so you know, it's stuff like that. It was a great experience, though. Coach, tell us about the four words you guys chose. So, yeah, I gave a bunch of words, and then four got mm -hmm. family. Family, tough, uh, intelligent. Man, I should know these. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know where they are. I don't remember the fourth one. I remember the fourth one. I don't remember the fourth one. So much fun trying to think of things with the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what's something that your game that you've worked on do that you had to work on this year? Oh, I think I'll be a much better catch-and-shoot guy. Um, you know, Tremont, uh, Tremont's great at finding guys, so I think I'll get some open looks. So I really wanted to focus on that in the summer. Coach also said y'all killed a hog out there. Killed a hog. They sure? went, uh, they went uh, hunting. They, I didn't know that you, you go like hog hunting at like 10:30 at night. Uh, the guy who was, uh, you know, hosting us, he went hog hunting. I think Coach Merritt might have gone with him. Uh, but I didn't get to see it. I, I didn't want anything to do with that. <laughs> Coach said he, uh, Coach Wade said he just posed. You know, he had nothing to do with killing the hog, but he posed by it like he did. Oh, I didn't even see the picture. I'd like to see it though. <laughs> now you're you're a pre med major, right? Yes, I am. Okay, how I gotta ask you, how are you juggling that and being an LSU? Yeah, it's a, it's a day to day thing. You know, uh, some days are some days are tough. You know, I mean, as, as you expect, but you know, I, I think I do a pretty good job of managing my time. So. Uh, and I'm able to make things work. I mean, my girlfriend's that's only because she's struggling every night. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's not easy. The, it's not easy. But it pays off. It pays <laughs> off, yeah. Um, Coach said, I think he said about Alcorn, he's going to try to, what was the, he said something funny about the way, the pace they play. Something uh, like they're going to try to bring it down. To, yeah, slow it down. Uh, slow it down uh, big uh, time. Like he said something funny in practice. Yeah, he said something funny in practice. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, he, as far as we know, I mean, I haven't watched any film yet. As a team, we haven't watched film yet, but uh, apparently they like to run a, a, a matchup zone. So we've been really uh, trying to prepare for that. Uh, he's put some stuff in. Uh, uh, he thinks we'll be successful. So, you know, we've got to execute um, the new plays that he's put in and you know, make sure that we're moving the ball. That's going to be a big key for us. And also getting paint touches, getting WAP involved early. Uh, Coach can't talk about this, but I guess you can. You know, Javante is supposed to sign today at 2 o'clock, obviously. Okay. You know, what is that? What do you think that, that can that mean for this program? Well, that's a big get for us. You know, he's a, he's also a Baton Rouge kid. You know, we, so he's got relationships with some of the guys on the team. Uh, and, you know, he's a great player. So we're excited for what he's going to be for this university. 
he seems to be, I've interviewed him, other people have interviewed him, he doesn't say a whole lot. He doesn't seem like he's like, you know, some boisterous brag. No, he's a clown. He's a clown. Yeah, okay. He's a clown, for sure. Maybe, uh, maybe he's not comfortable with the camera yet, but he's a clown, for sure. Kev, you got somebody? You want us to wrap this up? No, I'm just not sure he can talk about him yet since he hasn't signed yet. Really? Players can't talk? I'm not sure about that. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my bad. Um, no, no, it's not your bad. It's my bad for asking you. We don't want to use it then. Okay. Technical terms, you know, because since it's not two o'clock yet. Okay. You know, I knew it, I knew it applied to the coach. I didn't know if it applied yeah, to the players too. Think, think just to be on the safe side. All right. Um, just a little bit from the exhibition. But, yeah. You know, you were really efficient in that game. The one, the two lane one. Yeah. yeah sure. What I'm looking at, I don't know which one it is, but 19, 19.3 on two assists on eight of 13 shooting. Okay. Uh, what does that efficiency speak about your game? Um, I think um, I just try to take shots that I know I can make, things that I've worked on uh, countless times in the gym in the summer. Uh, I just try and make sure I'm taking the best shot for the team when I do take a shot. Do you guys feel like you're ready for, for game one here? Oh, absolutely. You know, we're going to be in uh, we're going to be in great spirits. You know, a lot of guys are ready to get one under their belt uh, and you know get some momentum going into Maui. But first of all, we got to win this Alcorn game. Uh, you and some of the returning players talked about.